bad day, everybody. Um, I, I would have said good day, but you saw the thumbnail. Today is a bit of a follow-up from a video that I made a couple weeks ago now called Wasting Food for Clout. They told the story of these mythical beings that began making food on their countertops for money, I presume. And in that video, we uncovered that the source of these videos is actually a familiar face, Rick Lacks, uh, the big old Facebook magician man. Now there was one food hack that I cut from that video for time that has since kind of turned into a trend to the point where now I just keep getting tagged in it on social media at Jarvis Always Be Plugging and I feel like I need to address it. So uh, I'm doing that right now. The thing that we're discussing today is the lady who keeps making food in her toilet. Why? Why does she keep using her toilet for stuff? That's not what toilets are for. Stop it. Or as she's also known, the Anna Show. I'm gonna pause for a second and let you take in the fact that the countertop people and the toilet lady are connected. But I'm sure you could already tell there was some sort of cosmic link there. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we jump into this, let's just watch the toilet hack that started it all. Hey, it's Future Jarvis from like 30 minutes in the future. Um, I just want to give a little bit of a warning. You saw the thumbnail. That's in the video. <laughs> that, that's just want to let you know. This is not clickbait, but in but not in a good way, <laughs> unfortunately. Just pop that in. Wow. Yep. <laughs> it's already. I already don't want to be here. So you need a toilet, an extra toilet, unless unless someone is planning on using this toilet again for its intended purpose. But I don't want to think about that. Uh, you got to put ice in the toilet. So now it's a cold toilet. And then you put Neapolitan ice cream into it. It's a DIY punch trick that's great for parties, by the way, in, in case that wasn't obvious. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so good. That looks perfect. Or I guess it's sorbet. Don't tell me in the comments. Really mush it around. Excellent. Oh, yeah. you already emptied this yeah, part. Yeah, I emptied Great. that part. It doesn't even look clean. Like there's staining at least on the in the inside of the toilet, and it just looks mmm uh, bacterial. <laughs> like that's I don't even know if that's the correct application of that word, but it just feels like maybe the maybe the little trolley candies are like an artistic representation of the bacteria that's swimming around inside of this fruit punch. I'm sorry that this is so disgusting. I'm using you for emotional support. Um, you're my emotional support audience, so thank you very much. I'm just gonna start loading up this tank back here. Obviously- I love that she's so comfortable emptying out the Hawaiian punch that she's like doing it while bending over. She's like, I can multitask while I pour Hawaiian punch into my toilet. What, it's Tuesday. Hey. yeah. This is a daily routine for Anna. The, you know how some people wake up and go to the bathroom? So does Anna, but not in the way you think. We want to get this right in there. We can replace this. Okay. Again, have to point out the guy in the back whose only, you know, contribution so far was, okay? <laughs> okay. It just doesn't sound very, like, sure of himself. Wow. So it starts, oh, look, it is. It's filling up. Wow. It's filling up. Yeah. Now, maybe I'm unique in this, but have you ever like flushed the toilet and then you see the water coming up and as it rises and rises, you're like, surely it's not going to overflow. But then as it gets higher and higher, you're like, I'm going to die. <laughs> this is actually the end of my life because I don't know if this water, if this water crests the bowl. Um, I will, <laughs> I will simply cease to exist. I kind of get that same feeling watching, watching the punch, like, go up in the bowl to the point where I'm like, how did they measure this out so perfectly? I like to think that Anna has a, a 19 bathroom, one bedroom apartment where she can wake up and just walk through her parade of bathrooms and gather everything she needs for a day. You got your fruit punch, you got lunch in one of them. We'll see dessert later. She's got one for shampoo. Really all of your, all of your needs can be accomplished with a toilet. It's the most versatile uh, bowl. If you think about it, is the toilet bowl. 
Yeah. Stick that on a mug. It's like a mug like this, but it says my other mug is a toilet bowl. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Got the plan here. here. One for you. Uh, yeah. How'd you make it? Uh, the toilet bowl punch recipe. I don't think I've ever asked, how did you make this when someone handed me a drink? I've also never seen anybody so excited to drink punch. That guy was like, ooh, 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 give me the punch. <laughs> ooh, ooh, how did you make it? I do love that she had the audacity to hashtag bartending in this one. Um, and it's wacky, y'all. Oh no, I cleaned the toilet before I made it. Okay. <laughs> even if you clean the toilet a hundred times, even if you set fire to the toilet and just burned off everything that's ever been there, even if you shaped a mug like a toilet, it's gross. <laughs> it's, it's just like the imagery alone, not to mention the bacteria. There's no way you cleaned it. We saw the toilet, Anna. We saw how gross that shit looked. But that's not all. What, you thought that was the only toilet bowl hack that Anna's got inside of her bathroom? Zzz. <laughs> She's not called the toilet bowl lady by me for nothing. You need at least, <laughs> at least two more toilet hacks for that. Looks good. Yeah, we just really need to, it needs to get the band out. Yep, that's right. So this was posted to the Cringetopia subreddit, but the source of it is The Magic Show, which is a Rick Lacks founded magic show on Snapchat. So luckily for us, <laughs> Cringetopia has archived this for all the world to see. Looks good. Yeah, we just really need to, it needs to get the band out. Yep, that's right. Is that in there? Yeah, it's just the standing out is the most important part. So this is clearly in Anna's same toilet room. <laughs> I hesitate to call it a bathroom because I've never seen the door. It just seems like it's an exposed toilet. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she she's maybe she's rocking with one toilet, which is all which add, which makes it worse. <laughs> you know? She is having her hair worked on <laughs> washed you know i don't want to i don't want to use that i don't want to dirty that term because it is a toilet but um i like to think that she met a hairdresser and was like when can you come in and anna was like i should be asking you that question and she's like what when can you come into my bathroom <laughs> and she's like you've got to be kidding me and she's like no and then she pulls out a gun <laughs> you're gonna Come with me to my bathroom and you're gonna do my hair in, in my toilet. The same toilet that we did the fruit punch bowl hack in. And she's like, I saw that, I went viral on TikTok. And she's like, exactly. Um, we're going viral again. No. Well, I think so. We just need to get really good coverage. Way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good coverage. Okay, and then take your shampoo and you, you wanna be generous, okay? Uh -huh. The grossest part is always when they open up the back of the toilet and then pour something into it. Cause, and now this has water in it. It just feels like a regular toilet. I don't know why Anna would subject her hair to this or her audience or the world, to be honest. Do you think they clean the toilet themselves? Or do they have like a cleaner cum or a plumber, <laughs> God forbid, and is like, look, I don't have time to explain. <laughs> I just need you to help me unclog this thing. Because I've got a hairdresser coming in 20 minutes. One of the... Oh, that looks really good. Yep. Yeah. And that's okay that it does that because when it flushes, it's okay. going to... Yep. And then also, we need to condition. Have yep. you guys tried to wash your hair in the sink? It's really hard. Okay. Yeah. So we're fanning it. I'm going to get it wet so okay. that we get really good. Great. Right. In case it isn't clear, all this content is just for outrage clicks and views. There are some people on the internet who like to claim that there is a fetish aspect to these videos. I find it really hard uh, in the absence of proof to believe that theory because the obvious thing is that you do this thing for outrage clicks and it makes you tons of money from the outrage views. I tweeted the spaghetti thing and it went on the news because everyone was so outraged by it. Uh, and I still haven't seen a lick of evidence that it's anything other than that, other than just for, for money and outrage. I mean, like, that's just, people have been faking social media content for virality and clout since the beginning of time. I don't, 
like understand why this needs to be more than that. If there's evidence to dispute what I'm claiming here, I'm open to it. Someone can just claim something on the internet and that doesn't mean it's true. This person, for example, is claiming or presenting washing their hair in the toilet as if it's a thing they've done a hundred times. When we know good and well, they've never done this before. They'll never do it again. It's just, it's just for content. So that's, thank you for coming to my TED talk. I feel like I needed to address this because it's literally like most of the mentions I get whenever I talk about this stuff. So there's my piece on it. I'm open to being wrong, but that's that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Is yeah. it good? No, it's good. It's really good. Okay, so now you, do you flush it to like, that it comes out underneath? Yes, absolutely. So this- Props to the person behind the camera actually asking a real question for once. Um, <laughs> but it's not like you're about to go home and try this. I still don't know how we got here. This, after all, is on the magic show, so I guess they're presenting this as some sort of magic trick. Surprise! Um, <laughs> you, your hair is poopy now. <laughs> so, voila! Okay, so you, you know toilet bowl cleaner? You put it up here because yeah. that's where the water is going to come out. So oh, wait, that girl looks so familiar. Okay, so you, you know toilet bowl cleaner? You put it up here because yeah. that's where the water is going to come out. So our shampoo is going to come out all along this and get her really good, even clean. I just think we need a little more shampoo. It doesn't feel right to not have If I haven't figured this out by the time I edit this, somebody let me know in the comments who this lady is because she looks so familiar. Yeah, just, it'll it'll it's clean. It'll splatter. Okay. Yeah. It's clean. You should never need to be reassured that something is clean when you're getting your hair washed. Close your eyes. See, watch it, watch yeah. it get clean. It's the potato chip lady, guys. From the mashed potatoes with Lay's. It's her. She's in, she's in, it's all connected. Watch it. Oh, wow. Watch oh, it, it got sudsy. <laughs> what if she just got like, soup, like what if she just got sucked into the toilet? Man, that would go viral. <laughs> Y'all should try to figure that one out. I would love to watch. Wait, it's still rinsing. It's still rinsing. It's still, it's still rinsing. rinsing. It's still yeah, rinsing. It is. It's still going. It's still so this isn't even like a little bit practical because she still has to wash her hair. It's not like that wasn't a thorough wash. A toilet is not. Sorry, I'm. I'm... I was doing the thing where I like tried to apply like real world logic to these videos and it's just so easy to do and that's why they're so popular but I have to remind myself to not do that. Um, so I'm just gonna like dial it back in. Okay, next video. All right, act three, dessert. <laughs> we are, we return to the scene of the crime like criminals often do and uh, uh, we're making dessert now. We're making a milkshake um, with the emphasis on the quotes around that word. It starts by putting some sort of brown burrito slash sandbag slash bundle of clothes into the toilet to clog it. And you're gonna just spiral it around like that. Some of this. They always make stuff how like a child would make it, you know, like, I feel like chocolate sauce and whipped cream are not where I start with a milkshake even. That's where you end, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the most important part. Well, obviously. I feel like we're one TikTok away from them just walking up to a swamp and claiming it's a chocolate lake, <laughs> you know? Like, oh, it's, oh my God, there's chocolate milk flowing everywhere. <clears throat> that's why it's brown. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah, like a lot of it in there. Okay. Make sure that. Part of me wants to like call up a plumber and say, hey, something's wrong with my toilet. And then I just send them to this video just to see how they, how they respond. Um, but I don't want to kill anyone because I feel like that would cause physical harm uh, to a plumber. It fills a lot of the tank, okay? Like yeah. I'm sorry. It's just like the amount of volume that these, these things always need. Like they're just double fisting gallons of milk into the back of a toilet. Like how did we get here as a society, you know? Oh, we went to the moon. If you want it extra creamy, just cause there's a little bit of water mixed in there, you'll add some whipped cream. Oh God. Oh, if you want it extra creamy, just cause there's a little water mixed in there, like toilet water? God, that is so nasty. The fact that you can say it with a straight face too, it's just like, this is this is a test from God. 
Oh my goodness, goodness. that is so extra. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's ec the sprinkles. The, sprink the sprinkles are always extra. Sprinkles have never been an integral ingredient in a dessert. They're literally sprinkled on the top. Let's get a couple of cherries in there. Okay. Go for it. <gasps> Look at it's churning. It's churning it. It's churning it into chocolate. It's not churning it. It's not churning it into chocolate or doing whatever the whatever you're saying it's doing. It's clearly failing. A toilet is not a blender. Anna. God, that's so disgusting to even think about. Uh, Milk, and then as it comes down. up, wow. it's churning it, it's churning it, it's churning in the chocolate milk, and then you just get in there. No, don't just get in there. I also love that she threw like six straws in there, like her and her friends were all gonna sit there around the toilet and Mm. Anna, you've done it again. I love the idea that like Anna sends you a Facebook event invite and it's just a photo of her toilet and that's the venue. That's where we're all, we're all just gonna sit around the toilet and play various toilet games. Um, flush the toilet, drink the toilet, um, clean the toilet, That's that comes after. And then people are just like, yeah. <laughs> Bring your own straws, though. You wouldn't want to share germs. And you can sip it right up. Okay, earnest question for Anna Rothfuss, uh, The Anna Show. Is it worth it? Because you can stop. You're allowed to stop. Are you in trouble? Do you need help? Uh, flush three times um, to call 911. <laughs> but that's not all she does. Anna's a renaissance woman. She can do it all, as long as there's a toilet involved. But even without a toilet, she's surprisingly capable. She's been on Facebook for a long time, um, but has recently picked up the TikTok game and has been crushing it, because we all know who she is now. Because if you you know the toilet lady, that's <laughs> that's Anna. She's, she's really doing numbers. So all of her Facebook videos are now like vertical videos because she's on Snapchat and she's on TikTok. And I, I'm she probably has fleets what is what is even what what is that i don't even know but anna's probably on it and she's probably slurping out of a toilet i want to take a look at some of the other things that anna is up to on social media to to paint the picture of like the toilet lady like who is she what is she about what else has she got going on and it's more fake stuff more stuff that's like not real um but there's some variety you know she's got prank videos this is a prank where she goes on a tinder date and then sleeps over at the guy's place, wink, wink. And when he wakes up in the morning, she looks different than she did last night. You know how like, you know from stand-up comedy from 40 years ago? The premise though, could we talk about how the premise is like, oh no, can you imagine if a guy slept with an unattractive woman by you know, our broken beauty standards. Like I just like the joke here is, can you imagine having a unibrow? Ugh, Anthony Davis, <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> He's not famous or attractive at, or, and well liked at all. <laughs> also, what is, what is going on on that guy's back? He's got like a tattoo of the seal of Ori Calcos or something. <laughs> Shout out to my Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Maybe I'm thinking too far ahead, but I would be a little creeped out if I woke up and the person I went to sleep with the night prior had painted their face for some reason. <laughs> like, well, that's weird in and of itself. Like, if you just painted on like clown makeup or something, that would that would spook me. <laughs> that would actually you would you would totally get me. So ladies, don't get any ideas. Morning. Morning, sleepy. Oh my god. <laughs> also, Anna, jokes on you. Ladies, you can do much better than a guy who puts a framed jersey over his bedside table. But don't fret, everybody. I can see you sweating. 
if, uh, or maybe that's toilet water. If pranks aren't your style, Anna also has more food hacks in store for us, like um, this one that's been going viral. Uh, you need a lot of ground beef for this, okay? Someone posted, I think it's a quote from Tumblr, but somebody's like, whenever I see a, a, a white lady in a nice kitchen, I feel like I'm about to watch a snuff film. Like the genuine unease that I feel when I see her squeezing out this ground beef is, I was gonna say palpable. Palpable? Let's go with palpable. Just do that first, and then we'll do a little roll like that. Question. It is uncommon to use a rolling pin on, on ground beef, right? Is that is that is that a thing? <laughs> There's just something that felt very un like natural about it. I don't know. But but then again, I, I'm not the greatest cook, so like, you know. Okay. And you put it right here in the center. This is Velveeta cheese. That's Velveeta? God, this is so nasty. Okay, you're gonna mold it as well, just like clay. I feel like just like clay is something that should never be said about something you're about to put into your body. Um, mm, just like clay. <laughs> now you're gonna wrap the beef around this. And you can peel and put them all around like this. Okay, and you pop it in the oven. We'll take it out in a few minutes. Incredible! You haven't even cut into it, incredible. That's a that's a pre-made biscuit. Of course that part worked. That was that was Pillsbury's doing. The doughboy didn't deserve this, okay? Oh wow. Look. Wow. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. It looks truly vile. Um and so that's I think that's that's where we'll I think that's where we'll end it. Oh man, I've tired myself out just watching these. I kudos to Anna for her output, um, and also the iron stomach she must possess, the sheer force of will to get herself to do these things. I have trouble getting out of bed sometimes in the morning, and Anna's doing this. Like, who am I to judge? But we still judge. We still judge because, you know. Somebody's gotta do it. I just wanted to talk about this because people keep tagging me in it. And also it's another Rick Lax thing and I never connected it. I never connected it to Rick Lax on YouTube. So just wanted to say that that's what this is under the Rick Lax Productions umbrella of creating gross out food hacks for clout and wasting food in the process. We didn't talk about the wasting food part. Yeah, it's that's a that's an upsetting for sure. So like please do stop it. At least the one night stand hack while perpetuating weird weird ideas about beauty and sex um didn't waste a ton of food. It's got that going for it. Anyway, as always, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um thank you for supporting all the things that I do and stay gold everybody. Peace.